Yo, what's up? It's your boy Dragon back with another tutorial. And in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you uh, how to make something like this. And basically, what this is, this is just like a little glow effect on text you can use on your thumbnails or whatever you want to make. You can even use this on banners or anything. So, if this video helped you out, make sure you drop a like and subscribe and even share it to your friends if they want to design too. So, like I said, or uh, like I didn't say, let's just turn into it. So, the first thing you want to do is go to file, then you want to go to new. And you just want to go 1280 by 720. Now for this, I'm going to just kind of add a black background. So you can just create a new layer, hit G on your keyboard, and then just come over here and pick this and just tap on your screen with it. Now for this one, I use the background. So I just, I'm going to just go get this right here. And after I get it, I'm going to go to human saturation and I'm going to just turn the lightness down. So for this right here, I just like to put a background on because I feel like a little better with the background. But what we're going to be using is this brush tool. So you just hit B on your keyboard to go to it. Then you right click and you can go to the brush tool like that. Or you can go up here and this is just me changing my settings right here. So what I do to increase the brush size or lower it, I right, I go like to the right of my keyboard to find my brackets. And I pick the right bracket to make it bigger. And I click the left bracket to make it uh, smaller. And if you don't know what the brackets are, I'm going to just put something in the description telling what the brackets are or whatever on your keyboard. But... I'm talking too fast, slow the video down. So now what we're gonna do is just go over here and hit control C to get this. And this is in the description. But you just wanna download this. You don't have these layer styles you want them. So after you just make this bigger by clicking on that, and you can just make it bigger like that. And say for instance, if I want to change the name on it, You'll go over here to your T on your keyboard to go to the horizontal type tool and you can just right click it and pick it if you're on the wrong one. Make sure you're not on the vertical one because that'll literally make you type vertically. So let's right click horizontal type tool and I'm going to just type in the name drag. And to get that, I just went across with it to type it in with it. So now just right click. You can rasterize this or if you don't want to, just don't. But make a new layer, hit B on your keyboard. And if this happens, just um, click the cap on it to make that appear again so now what you want to do is hold alt on your keyboard and you want to click the color and then you want to click again so hold alt on another color um pick the color and then click again and my keyboard over there should be helping y'all out too if it does have the alt on there but just alt click the color and then click 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 so yeah i'm gonna just do this so I'm basically like done or whatever. And then you want to go over to screen for your blend options with this. Now you can do linear dodge also. It's pretty much whatever looks best to you. I feel like some of the colors, it really just helps you choose which one you want to do. So you can do screen, linear dodge. I wouldn't really do lighter color. Any of these other ones, they're just the main two. So I like to do screen though. So after this, you can go behind it and then hit B on your keyboard again to make sure you're on the brush. And you can pick those same colors do the same thing but actually do behind it so behind here i'll probably put some of those blue colors and stuff like that just the ones i didn't use on the top and i would do screen back here also and i only do stuff like this on banners but that would help the glow too so i'm just going here and this time i'm only going to do two examples because i already recorded this so um another good color to do is like this orange yellowish color this really gives also good low and i'm gonna just show you and i hit Control c came over here hit Control v to actually bring it in so I'm gonna just make this one bigger, but I'm not gonna change the name on this one right here. So you just wanna right click it. You wanna rasterize your layer style if you want to. And then just create a new layer. And we're gonna do the same thing. Hold Alt and then click a color while holding Alt and then click. Hold Alt, click color while holding it and then click. Boom, boom. And I'm just doing this. I see how I go up and down. And sometimes you can actually do too much glow so i try to space it out a little bit but sometimes it still can mess you up but as you can see when you do screen on this it gives it like a better looking color than maybe the last one that's why i like this color so much and you can do linear dodge on this one also and you can just go behind it probably up the opacity a little bit more just go behind it and you basically can do the same thing now, i wouldn't really do black because i don't think the color gives all the glow but if you're gonna do the behind one just try to pick like different colors and put it on screen again and you can just lower the opacity but that's pretty much how you do it if this video helped you out make sure you drop a like and subscribe it would be much appreciated especially the um, description but 
if you do subscribe make sure you turn on post notifications so you can get those uploads and it's me and dragon peace out and make sure you look forward to the next video let's get it